Hello guys, hope you're all okay and you're all enjoying your life and you're also enjoying watching my ultrasound and radiology teaching video. In this video, I have selected one of the topic that is related to CT imaging. On the CT imaging, I'm going to show you how you will be able to pick the infarct and especially the areas of infarct or lobe of infarct. Beside this, you may be able to comment on the vascular territory whether the anterior cerebral arteries involved whether middle cerebral uh, cerebral or posterior cerebral arteries involved beside this you will be able to pick whether there is some mass effect or there is any compression effect or on the vasculatures or on the ventricular system or if there is any dilatation of the ventricular system so all these points will be included in this video let's start watching this video CT image, axial images of the 69 years old male and on this CT image uh, you can appreciate that the visible paranasal sinuses and the nasal cavity is there and down if you look uh, to the base of the skull you will see that uh, we have started from the cerebellum and then here we are going upward to see there will be a fourth ventricle and after the fourth ventricle there is a brain stem so if we go upward you will see that this is the area where you can appreciate the third ventricle and uh, here in view you can see that the posterior horns of the lateral ventricle or it is also called as occipital horns of the lateral ventricle if we go slightly upward here uh, before going to upward on the right and left side uh, selvian fissures is available and you can see that the selvian fissure in front of the selvian fissure there is deep buried area, area which is called as insula insula actually uh, normally you cannot see uh, on the ct images because uh, it is um, covered by the uh, parietal upper column and uh, frontal upper column but here in this image to some extent you can appreciate the insula uh, insula after that if you go slightly upward you can see then now in view the anterior horns of the ventricles are visible if you go down here the area which is called as basal ganglia a well-defined hypodense area in the basal ganglia can be seen this is basically ischemic infarct normally this area is supplied by the middle cerebral artery and middle cerebral uh, arteries perforators as far as the basal ganglia is concerned this is the particular area for the middle cerebral artery perforator so this is because of the um, um, perforators of the middle cerebral artery in fact so this is called as basal ganglia in fact if we go upward so still you can see now uh, there is a uh, a ventricular system which is slightly dilated however uh, you can appreciate that slightly sulci are deep and uh, um, gyris are uh, prominent like because of uh, trophic changes you can see so this was here if i go back to the diseased area so this is what a small infarct which is affecting the left side of the basal ganglia